Hi there. Strictly speaking, this isn't really restricted to the lay the field discussion that I was having, but since I mentioned within that series of videos that you should make sure you do some sort of analysis to identify what types of races is best suited to that strategy, I've included it within the series here, but keep in mind you could be using this for all sorts of strategies that you may be developing. I did mention this site in the past in the video from the archives that I posted a, f a few days ago with regard to horse racing resources. Uh, this is the the link that you need to go to to download the data files that Betfair make freely available. So if you take a note of that website here, promo.betfair.com slash betfairsp slash prices, and you'll get a very large table containing loads and loads and loads of files which stem all the way back to 2000, well actually 2007. I wouldn't necessarily suggest you download all of these, uh, but certainly you might want to consider going back three, four, perhaps five years. There's loads and loads of files available covering lots of different types of racing. So, for example, you'll see in actual fact you've got Greyhound markets in there. That's a relatively new edition, which uh, well, appeared in the past four or five years, I think it was. But you'll also see UK win and place markets, Irish win and place markets, uh, USA racing, Australian racing, South African racing. So there's a whole lot of stuff in there that you could be looking at. They're all arranged as comma delimited files, which make it very easy to import into a spreadsheet or a database. So let's have a quick look at one of them. And uh, what's today's date? 21st. So we'll look at the, for the 21st uh, UK win. Where is it? There it is there. So it's dated for today, but it actually contains the results from yesterday. So these files are normally uploaded the subsequent morning, uh, usually around about nine o'clock-ish. So we click on that, that downloads it. You'll see because it's a comma delimited file, it's a very small file um, which gets downloaded. So it doesn't take long and you can click on that and that will then directly open up your spreadsheet. Now in my case, it's LibreOffice. Uh, if you're using Excel, you'll get a similar window to this, allowing you to specify what fields that you want to bring in. Make sure you have comma selected so that it filters the, the, the columns properly. Otherwise, you'll get this type of thing all merged together. Choose comma. Click on OK. And that'll take a wee while to get in. You may want to reformat some of this. So, for example, all these fields here that have data in, you may want to change those so that there are two decimal places. Make it a little bit easier to read. Now, this oops, sorry. Um, this is meant to, this is not meant to be a tutorial on how to use a spreadsheet. Uh, there's loads of information like that on the internet and you can f find that yourself. But just very quickly to run over these things. If you put on some sort of filtering, Excel has the same sort of thing. We'll put in drop down boxes and you can then filter and select for specific things. So for example, if I scroll to the left here, we can filter for all the racing at Perth, for example, from yesterday. Choose OK. And there we have all the races from Perth. We can then filter for any specific race. So again, let's just choose the 3 o'clock. And those are the runners from the 3 o'clock. In this column here, you have a 1. That indicates the winner. So Dreams of Home won that race. And then further along, you'll see the BSP and a whole host of other settings. The ones I want to draw your attention to with relation to lay the field is uh, these ones here. Let me just m increase the size of those so you can see the headings. So this one here is the in-running minimum price that was hit, where at least £100 was matched in running. Okay, so you'll see here... The winner obviously hit 1.01, .01, but the next lowest odds that were hit by another runner 
was 2.54. So clearly this race here wouldn't have been suitable for lay the field. So by importing all these files, you can then spend time building up your own database on which you can do all sorts of analysis, whether it's lay the field, whether it's back to lay, whether it's dobbing, lay to back, all sorts of things. So I would encourage you to make use of that data. Now if you've got the programming skills you could automate that so those files are downloaded automatically and stuck into a database. It's obviously a little bit um, more tedious doing so if you have to do it by hand. Uh, but it's certainly something you should think about doing uh, so that you can build up your own data set and carry out your own analysis in the way that you want to do it. Okay, that's enough for today. We'll get back to you later on. Bye.